What is going on guys? This is Jaybird. And uh, so for this video today, uh, I was going to use a script, but I decided maybe I'll just watch these clips, do a little bit of ad-libbing over them as I watch them. This video is really about just how beautiful this game is. Uh, these first clips are just kind of demonstrating how much time I've put into this game, how many things I've seen. And then the rest of the video is just going to be clips about all the funny, interesting things that can happen in it. and. Why it's so beautiful. All the controversy of late with the TF2 economy and lack of developer support, I think it's just, uh, I think it's good that we have a little bit of a reminder as to why we play this game and why we all love it. So, getting into the clips, a lot of them are going to be sniper, but you know what, I have experience on a lot of classes, and this game offers a lot of interesting ways to kill people and for them to kill themselves. One of my first classes I ever played was Medic, and uh, you know what, it really stuck. It was something I always loved. It really taught me a lot about movement. Um, all of my aim practice though was pretty much on Sniper. Hitting fun shots like that are one of the reasons I have 2400 hours on the class. And missing easy shots like this are one of the reasons I'm always motivated to improve. Try to reach the heights of my skill potential. Soldier is another beautiful class, allows so many different options in movement. And hey, even if you don't make it to that spawn room, never give up. You never know what's going to happen. Uh, this poor fellow. And then, you know what, some classic TF2 comms. Stop spawn camping. No. I think that really sums up pubs. And uh, another thing that sums up pubs. Auto balance. What a beautiful feature. I don't actually get mad at it, I think it is a necessary evil, but man, it hurts you sometimes. Just like, uh, just like market garden mechanics can hurt you sometimes. But when something like this happens, you really can't be that mad. <laughs> you kind of just have to laugh it off and say, well done. Maybe you meet a friendly in a pub, you two have a little moment, share a stare, and uh, things can change pretty quickly. In TF2, though, kind of gotta think on your toes and react appropriately. And sometimes you just get some good old-fashioned TF2 fast-paced action. The game is a lot about DM, uh, and sometimes you just gotta it really makes you think. Really makes you use all of the weapons and items you have at your disposal, like making a spy backstab you and then turning around and killing him and then leaving him in utter disbelief as to how you can shoot them when apparently you weren't even looking at them. But the communication you have with other players, just another beautiful part of this game. Enemies will drop in on you out of the sky, uh, and then you can also send enemies into the sky and watch them fall down. And cratering an enemy is probably one of the most satisfying things to do in this game. Things aren't always going to go your way. Call it a game mechanic or a bug, that'll happen to you. And then maybe you got a headshot lined up, foiled by one stab, and then, you know what, that's just good teamwork. Two spies working together, it's beautiful. And then maybe you hit a really nice headshot on a jumping soldier, go to finish him off, and he bounces you into the sky and craters you down himself. Goes around, comes around. At the end of the day though, this game really just sings a, a beautiful symphony of gameplay, emotion, community. And it's why I love it, why I put 6,000 hours into it, and it's why I think it still has a future. Thank you guys.